Okay, in this video we're going to go over number two from the 2009 Calc A, B, and B, C exams, and it's about people waiting in line to get into a concert. Um, Alright, so we are told the rate at which people enter an auditorium from a rock concert is for a rock concert is modeled by the function R of T, uh, and they give you R of T. It's 1,380 T squared minus 675 T cubed for zero is less than, on the interval from zero to two. Um, R of T is measured in people per hour. No one is in the auditorium at T equals zero. When the doors open, the doors close, and the concert begins at T equals two. Um, all right, so the first question, how many people are in the auditorium when the concert begins? So let me jot down uh, what we know here. We know R of T, we know it's valid between zero and two, and we know that R of T is the rate at which people are entering, and that's in people per hour. And we want to know a total, so if you integrate the rate, you will get the total. So what we want to do is the integral from 0 to 2 of r of t dt. And it's a calculator problem, so what I've done is stored the function, because I'm probably going to use it again. Um, and then I did the definite integral, and I got 980. Uh, I think it's actually exactly 980, um, but for some reason I put approximately. Uh, all right, so. The next question, find the time when the rate at which people enter the auditorium is a maximum. So maximum on a closed interval, I'm thinking that is definitely the candidate's test, um, which is one of my favorite things to use really, because it's like very cut and dry. You do the same thing every time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that R of T is a continuous function, which it is, um, because it's a polynomial. Um, so R of T is continuous on the interval from zero to two. And I'll say therefore by candidates test, the absolute max and the absolute min, but we're only asked for the absolute max. The absolute max is at an endpoint or a critical point. Now I need to figure out the critical point. So critical points, in this case, there's no place the derivative is undefined. Um, so it's gonna be when R prime of T equals zero. Um, and it's a calculator question. So what I've done is I graphed the derivative and I found the zero. So I got that the zero of the derivative, there's one at zero, but that's not gonna be the maximum. Um, but we'll check it, uh, 1.362, 1.363. So t is approximately 1.363. Okay, now what we wanna do is check the endpoints and check the critical point. So make a table, I'm gonna use zero, 1.363 and two. And when we sub those into R of T using the calculator again, we get zero, we get 854.527, and we get 120. And so you can tell that the maximum or for R of T is going to be when T equals 1.363. So, so far this is a very straightforward problem. Um, these are the kinds of things that you typically expect to see in these. Uh, for the next part, the next part, if you're looking at the problems, which you can definitely find on like the College Board website or they're available in a lot of places on the internet, um, the next part is very long and wordy. Don't be afraid of the long and wordy problems though, because usually they're long and wordy because they're telling you exactly what to do. So the total wait time for all the people in the auditorium is found by adding the time each person waits, starting at the time the person enters the auditorium and ending when the concert begins. Uh, that makes sense. So the function w models total wait time for all people who enter the auditorium before time t. The derivative of w, so this is weird, they're telling you the derivative of w, but whatever, just go with it. The derivative of w is given by w prime of t equals two minus t times r of t. So just jot that down. So w prime of t is two minus t times r of t. Then the question is to find, so that's w prime. The question is to find w of two minus w of one. And then they tell you that is the total wait time for those who enter the auditorium after time t equals one. Okay, so um, if I have to find w of two minus w of one, in my ideal scenario, I would know w prime and I would just integrate it because that's the fundamental theorem. They actually gave us w prime. So this is gonna be the integral from one to two of w prime of t dt. This is a calculator problem, so we're gonna use a calculator on it. So I stored w prime. I frequently store uh, like derivatives as the name of the function and then p for prime, so wp of t. And then I use colon equals, 
calculator says done. Then I did the definite integral. I got 387.5. So the total wait time for people who entered after t equals 1 is 387.5 hours. So I'm just going to write that down. So this is in hours. Um, and then you don't have to watch me write that. Total wait time for people entering after time t equals 1 is 387.5 hours. All right, so it's really important to understand what's happening there because the next question says, on average, how long does a person wait in the auditorium for the concert to begin? Consider all people who enter the auditorium after the doors open and use the model for total wait time from part C. So I'm gonna to need to know the total wait time um, for people, and then I'm going to divide that by the total number of people, right? Because total wait time divided by total number of people would give me the average wait per person. So uh, to do this, I already know that w prime of t is two minus t times r of t. And then I'm gonna copy part of the previous problem just so you can like refresh that. w prime of t, the key thing here is they asked us to find w of two minus w of one and they told us that was the total wait time for those who enter after t equals one. We just want the total for everyone. So we wanna start at t equals zero instead of t equals one. So they told us this, we're gonna do uh, w of two minus w of zero and that'll be the integral from zero to two, um, w prime of t dt. It also tells us in the problem that there's no one in the auditorium at t equals zero, so like uh, there's just no one there um, to have any wait time. So this uh, will give me, so I'm, I'm just gonna like start writing things. So the average wait time should be the total wait time divided by the total people right because we don't want the average wait time like per hour we want the average wait time per person so we're going to do the total wait time which is in hours and divide by the total number of people which is in people and we'll get hours per person which makes makes sense i think so integral zero to two w prime of t dt divided by um the total number of people is actually 980 we were asked to calculate that in part a so that's where i got this answer and then again, calculator question, so just let it do the work. And we get approximately 0.776. And then that's gonna be hours per person. And then sometimes I just like to write a sentence to make sure that I really answered the question so that anyone kind of grading it would know that. So I'm gonna say, on average, people wait 0.776 hours. So uh, that's what you would expect to wait if you got on that line. All right, that's the end of the problem. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.